fill this up two thirds full of timber. We take the large wheelbarrow and it. So we say that this is a. And here's our, our timber fill in here. And this man here is the guy who designed it, Alan Scott. He's from Tasmania and he was living in California and he was great friends with this woman there, Laurel Robertson. And coincidentally, this is a cookbook. This is my mother's cookbook when I was a kid. And he designed her first oven when, uh, when she was writing this book back in the 70s. Mm. And they were friends. He was a uh, blacksmith. And so he was used to working with uh, masonry and ovens. And uh, she had a design. He didn't like her design at all. And uh, so he looked at uh, her design. And then he went and researched traditional French and Quebec ovens. And uh, one thing that he noted is the ratio between the height of the dough and the height of the dough. So you'll have different ones all over, and they might have a slightly higher, a slightly lower. But the dough works is this height. This regulates the airflow that goes into it. Mm. So I like the fire, and the air comes in here and goes to here. And this is there's a there's no fire here now, but the oxygen can't pass here. So it just there's a big wall of flames here, and it can't burn any further. The smoke, which it gets reburnt, comes out clean out here. But you won't, because that oxygen can't pass the flames, you don't get a bonfire effect. So it doesn't get any bigger than, than this fire. Because of that amount of oxygen that's coming in here, it's restricted, it can't, it can't go on fire. And it slowly burns its way along. And along and along, slowly the flame will go on there, and then it kind of builds a fire up here. And, uh, so I like these will be in the oven and you'll see like a big wall and there's a wall of flame here and nothing is being burnt on this side. Really? Yeah, because the oxygen can't pass it. And the, the fire needs oxygen to work. And all the oxygen is used up at these flames here. Wow, yeah. Huh. And that's the essential thing. If, if we had this as a big open space, yeah. you would have and you put loads of wood in, you have loads of yeah. you have loads of flame. Yeah. So I just put this in, this burns away. I go off to bed and just the fire just burns, makes its way back through everything. And it's slowly, and it takes about eight hours to burn. Right, it's just way back all the way through. And uh, and then, uh, so we've got four inch brick. These are factory bricks, and then five inches of concrete on top of this. And then we have this two foot of insulation around that. So I built this with a friend of mine well, five years ago. Here's it being built here. You can see. So this is the, the, the brick down here. Which you can see here, and then you can see this concrete cap mm -hmm. that goes on top of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I didn't really believe you can see this little crack along the yeah. side here. Yeah? yeah, so what's really important with these because these are two different materials, so there's a brick and the concrete, you have to put a slip in between them, there's a layer of tin foil between them because they expand at different rates, the heat, the different materials, and they just move off each other. And that lifts, and when I first did the fire, and the whole cap lifts itself off about a centimetre up off the brickwork. And there's little pillars you put in because of the different expansion rates. And if you didn't put that brick in, the whole thing would just shatter itself. Mm -hmm. And it just breaks up. So that lifts, and then you put the two foot of insulation around. And uh, coming on. We've got these six thermal couples, so these read the temperature. At the moment, it's 345 degrees just here. And then out here, and these are in centigrade, 340 degrees. And then out here, I think we've got about 640. It's actually pretty hot. It's saying 160 out there, it's hotter than that. But what we want is I need to know the temperature out of this area here because we're only working on energy here. It's not, not the time. I have to know how much energy is stored in the oven for a bake. Mm -hmm. And people kind of go, oh, you're not fit the hot water system, and that kind of way, and they run a bath and shoo, take all this energy and put into it. Yeah. And we look at it in that way that this is our energy. It's solar it comes down from the sun, and it's stored up there in the forest. And then we pay, there's a local guy who has a contract to fell those trees, and then there's new local guys to split it as well. So all our food, all our energy that we spend our money on stays within our local economy. Mm -hmm. It's all left. It's all sitting out there at the ground. We've been seasoning for two years now. And then we put it in here, and that energy then transfers up into the brickwork, and it's sitting there now until we put bread in there to take it out. And in the four years 
for three and a half, four years since we built it, it hasn't been below 100 degrees. We go away for two weeks holidays and stuff like that, and you come back and it's still over 100 degrees. Because that energy, just, if you're not taking it out, it'll yeah. just sit there, just like a big, big battery. And, uh, yeah. And the, it works on a different, Works on a different system than the record convection. Where this works on some convection, the air. I'm not so concerned about the air temperature in there. But we're mostly with radiation. So it's the energy that's stored in there coming out of it and passes into your brain. And then this is coming out of the brickwork. So this is masses of energy, like the energy is coming out of the sun. We don't feel it passing there until it hits. And we have, so our loaf of bread is in here, and we have this energy, that's, the radiation is coming in. There's conduction, so it's, it comes down and it touches the brickwork on the bottom, mm -hmm. which is full of energy, and that passes all the way into it and forces it there. And then we have the convection around the outside, which is the air. The regular ovens at home are convectional ovens. They heat up the outside of it, and they'll heat up the outside of your bread, and slowly, as it heats up, that layer, It'll heat up the next bit so mm. it slowly works its way in. This the energy passes through and into the inside. And uh, I can end up with a very thin crust baked like at high temperatures. I'll bake it for high temperatures on the inside which will bake really easily and uh, at high temperatures. Uh, and that's why it's good to bake. And, uh, when I started out baking, we uh, Tom the oven in the restaurant in the belly, which is a uh, it's kind of steam oven, so you can see. But uh, if you put in uh, breads just onto your tray, so you're at home, you can literally turn them out there and we'll put them onto a peel and we'll bake them in there. It's nice. If you turn onto it, there's no thermal mass in here. So there's no energy in this. So it's good. So I lined the inside of the uh, oven with just the floor tiles. So that's that. So you can get them for nothing outside. Uh, and in big tile stores, and they fit in these like big boxes full of kind of the ones that choose the tiles. And just use them, you put them in your oven, turn it for at around 100 degrees for an hour or so, and it'll burn off any chemicals and stuff in there. And then, okay, sorry, did they have to be unglazed tiles? Yeah, I just got yeah, unglazed floor tiles. Mm -hmm. And uh, if, you, if you have a very big oven, you're better off with two smaller ones because I found it when I, I, was, I tried ones that size. And because uh, the tray in the oven will bow and then there's nothing support and they can crack, so you're mm -hmm. better off putting two, two beside each other and they'll sit there. But if you've got a regular oven, this is a big combi oven, mm -hmm. if you've got a regular oven at home, that will just fit in. Just try and have it that there's a space between the outside, especially if you have like a fan assisted, yeah. that the air can travel mm -hmm. past. Yeah. And what you're getting there is you'll have that energy stored within, that, within the stone. So when you put your bread onto it, that you're getting that conduction. Do you, you get floor tiles? Can you on, on you put yours, yeah. Mm. Uh, on your on the base. Oh base, yeah. On the base, yeah. Not on the rack. You know, on the rack. On the rack. On the rack. On the rack yeah. yeah. So in the middle of your oven, so okay. you're still getting that all that heat around. Mm -hmm. okay. You put the, t the floor tile onto the rack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then see, so you're getting some yeah. thermal mass in there. Yeah. And you're getting the energy because you're going to put the dough at home onto this. And this will be cold. It goes in there and it's got to heat up mm -hmm. and it's yeah. slowly taking the energy mm -hmm. in. And what we really want is another spring. Mm -hmm. You put it in. And that's where you get these big dramatic things. Yes. And if you can get mass in there. So floor tiles. Floor tiles. Like, you can buy pizza tiles or baking tiles. Yeah. They mm -hmm. apparently... They're about, 20, was, they're about 21 yeah. euros and they break very easily. Right. Yeah. 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 They're about four times, five times more expensive than just a regular really raised quality. Yeah. 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 yeah, and this is what I used for yes. years. I just yeah. Yeah. used to go down and there was a big down the point depot and I went to the right prices and stuff like that. And they just thought, well, kind of where they're. Sound yes. Yeah. But yeah, it wasn't even again. It was kind of they'd finished doing a job in some place and they'd just be throwing them all into mm -hmm. take out his one and too. Sorry, would you leave it in all the time or just leave it out and use it all the time? Or would you use the same one, <clears throat> same floor tile? Well, I used to have to take them out because they'd be using the other store other things. Oh yes, oh, but then so, you'd uh, use the same tile back in. Yeah, 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 yeah. And just uh, put it in. Yeah. When you're preheating your oven, yes. put the tile in there so the, the tile is hot. Yeah. So instead of going into here 
This is cold. Mm -hmm. yeah. This but is what, what like the cakes, though. Surely, people yeah. are making cakes as well. Same thing. No. Mm. I don't bake cakes. Uh, no, but I, I'm just saying. You know, no, no, honestly, I don't bake cakes, so yeah, I don't. I, don't I'm, 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 I just wondered what this. About, no, where cakes have a lower, have a lower heat, have a lower temperature. Yeah. You yeah. 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 You, don't put the, you preheat the oven and then put the bread in cold. Yeah. Yes. Those, those pizza stones, if you buy the expensive one, you have to remember cold stone, cold oven. That's it. You can't put cold stone. Oh, in I understand. Otherwise, okay. it'll crack. Mm -hmm. Understand. Good use of bread too. Yeah. Nice little pieces. So uh, yeah, so that, 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 that's what we're doing. Although I used to like do the mantra, and you'll get you you'll get a better all of these. Like, you'll still get the, a grand of putting it onto a tray mm. and putting it in and bringing it up. Mm. We, you get better crust, do you think? Yeah, you do. Yeah, I mean, like at the, the bottom of it because it's like this is nearly working as a tin, and you know, so it's affecting the crust. Mm -hmm. It'll be cold going onto it. Yeah. It has to heat up. Mm -hmm. yeah. But if this is a hot mass, mm. it's going onto it. And then it's being sealed, it's being you're getting a good. Could you cook it out in first? Down, yeah, but there's not much of a mass in it. See, that's what I'm, you're not working on just on the temperature, okay. we're working on energy. Mm -hmm. And energy in its three forms, you know, so we have our radiation, conducting, convecting, radiation. So this energy is going in there, and that's what's making it rise and working on there. Uh, and. Uh, So I'm just going to uh, open this out, mop it out, rake it all out, and then all the ash will go into here. 